नमस्कार इंडिया मेट्रोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट वेलकम टू इन डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग द मॉनसून इज इन इट्स फुल स्विंग एंड नेक्स्ट वन वीक इज गोइंग टू बी द वीक ऑफ इंटेंस मॉनसून एक्टिविटी ओवर द नदर्न पार्ट ऑफ कंट्री इंक्लूडिंग द सेंट्रल पार्ट एंड द नॉर्थ पेनसुलर इंडिया If we look into the monsoon status of today, then the during past 24 hours, the southwest monsoon has covered most parts of uh, 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 most parts of Jharkhand, some parts of East Uttar Pradesh, most parts of uh, Bihar, and uh, it has covered remaining parts of Odisha, and also remaining parts of Gangetic West Bengal, and some parts of Chhattisgarh, some parts of Vidarbha, and uh, some parts of some more parts of Karnataka. and today the northern limit of uh, southwest monsoon is passing from ratnagiri the ratnagiri point is same as maharashtra is not receiving significant rainfall and uh, in karnataka it has uh, uh, progressed slightly northward and now the line is passing after ratnagiri it is passing through bijapur and then it is going into nizamabad of uh, telangana and then durg of chatisgarh and then daltanganj of uh, uh, jharkhand and baksar of bihar and then siddharth nagar of northeast up if you look into uh, uh, next 3 uh, uh, to 4 days scenario then as as uh, uh, as the next one week is going to be the week of intense monsoon so the monsoon is likely to progress into some parts of uttarakhand some more parts of uh, uttar pradesh some parts of uh, east madhya pradesh adjoining west madhya pradesh and uh, and uh, remaining parts of jharkhand bihar and remaining parts of chatisgarh during next 48 hours and after that during subsequent 48 hours the monsoon is likely to uh, uh, advance into some more parts of uh, uh, telangana Uh, remaining parts of karnataka and some parts of uh, uh, some parts uh, some more parts of maharashtra so uh, uh, why why this scenario is happening that uh, today there is a cyclonic circulation over northwest bay of bengal adjoining uh, uh, north odisha and west bengal coast and this cyclonic circulation is extending up to middle tropospheric level tilting southwestward with height and in association with this cyclonic circulation we can see over here that there is intense cloud convection over south odisha and adjoining parts of north coastal andhra pradesh and this odisha and coastal andhra pradesh are going to receive uh, heavy to very heavy rainfall uh, during next 24 hours and odisha will continue to receive heavy to very heavy rainfall during uh, next 4 uh, days so uh, this cyclonic circulation is there and another uh, another cyclonic circulation is the uh, over over central parts of up and a trough line is extending from north punjab to this cyclonic circulation over north west uh, bay of bengal across the cyclonic circulation over central parts of uttar pradesh and also an offshore trough has emerged from north kerala to uh, south maharashtra coast and uh, uh, under the influence of these uh, scenario and if we look into the forecast of this uh, cyclonic circulation which is the major system uh, uh, major system going to rainfall uh, over the over the central india and north peninsular india during next uh, uh, one week so this cyclonic circulation is likely to become a low pressure area during next uh, 24 to 48 hours and also this uh, trough is very significant as this trough uh, uh, east west trough is going to cause heavy to very heavy rainfall over the western himalayan region and uh, heavy rainfall over the uh, over the uh, plains of northwest india so here we can see in these graphic that today there is likelihood of uh, isolated heavy rainfall over himachal pradesh and uttarakhand and from tomorrow onwards 24th to 26th as we can see that we have given orange color for himachal pradesh and uttarakhand so there is a likelihood of isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall with widespread light to moderate rainfall and isolated heavy rainfall would be there a probability would be there from tomorrow till uh, next uh, next 3 uh, to 4 days over uttar pradesh and over punjab and haryana and especially the uh, northern parts of punjab and northern parts of haryana and northwest up are likely to receive isolated heavy rainfall from 20 25th to 26th of june and after that as this east west trough uh, 
becomes less mark this uh, the entire activity which is going on over Odisha and coastal Andhra Pradesh is going to uh, uh, get intensified more and uh, then we are uh, going to receive isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall over uh, over uh, uh, Chhattisgarh and Vidarbha and Madhya Pradesh uh, on 25th of June and on 26th of June this this would continue and as this system the low pressure area moves west north westward so uh, even Gujarat and southwest MP and north Madhya Maharashtra may receive isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall on 27th of June and also along uh, as we have seen there is uh, an offshore trough has emerged along the west coast so uh, under the influence of this offshore trough isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall is likely during next uh, five days with the intensification from uh, 25th of june uh, from isolated heavy rainfall to isolated very heavy rainfall over coastal karnataka and uh, and uh, uh, maharashtra coast that is konkan and uh, uh, if we then uh, then if we uh, look into uh, especially over Odisha and Telangana and Chhattisgarh, so uh, Chhattisgarh is likely to receive isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall uh, and uh, with extremely heavy falls at isolated places by tomorrow. And as this system comes close to uh, uh, West Madhya Pradesh, so the this rainfall isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall may even intensify into uh, extremely heavy falls as well. So that's all for today. Tomorrow we'll again meet with Delhi Weather Briefing for weather warning during next five days. Thank you and goodbye.